This happened yesterday morning at nine in the morning. I, female 33, was in the kitchen eating breakfast, wearing my regular underwear. Suddenly I heard gasping sounds coming towards me. I turned and saw mother and sister-in-law yelling about what I was wearing. I was in utter shock and just froze in my seat. My husband was asleep at the time and he must have heard his mom and sister scream because he ran downstairs asking what was going on. His mom started ranting loudly about what an inappropriate scene she and her daughter saw. I was still sitting in shock when my husband started yelling at me to go put on something quickly. So I went upstairs while his mom kept yelling after me, calling me shameless and inappropriate. I then heard my husband say it won't happen again. I was so mad, I put a coat on and went downstairs and started arguing with my mother-in-law. I told her she shouldn't have come over without notice, but it turns out my husband told her to come over at 9am to discuss a family crisis. My mother-in-law said I was in the wrong for walking around half-naked, knowing she had a key and might show up any minute. I told her it was my home, and she said it was her son's home too. We argued, and my husband told me to knock it off and apologise, but I refused and went back upstairs. Then, after his mom and sister left, he called me childish and inappropriate. I tried to explain my side, but he said what's done's done, and he promised his mom that I would apologise, but I said I will never apologise, and she's going to have to wait for decades for that. He got upset and called me disrespectful towards my guests, and my mother-in-law was technically a guest, so he's still nagging me for an apology to his mom via email to get this over with. Am I the idiot for not apologising? I'll apologise if it turns out that I'm wrong here. You could have been sat in the kitchen naked doing ungodly stuff. If your mother-in-law doesn't like surprises, she should knock. Not the idiot, OP. Your mother-in-law owes an apology for the insult she said. I realise it was startling, but you were doing nothing wrong. She also owes you an apology for barging in. Knocking is a thing, even if you have a key. Honey, your husband has it all wrong. Your mother-in-law 100% owes you an apology, and she shouldn't be allowed to darken your doorstep until she gives it. And OMG, he promised his mom that you would apologise. This is a huge red flag. You need to decide if you want to stay married to this mama's boy. I don't see this situation improving. And do not let your husband see you in anything other than fully dressed until he apologises. If he wants to see his wife in her underwear or less, then he owes you a serious and expensive apology. Honestly, your husband's reaction is the most concerning to me. He's being so disrespectful to you about this. You need to set some boundaries about them coming over unannounced since this was so traumatising for them, apparently. Please do not have children unless you have your relationship sorted out. First, he needs to back you up as his partner. Then, if he won't back you up and has reverted to a much more conservative view, you need to evaluate the situation and determine if this is still what you want for your life and the lives of any children. Not the idiot, and wow! Them acting scandalised is equal parts hilarious and infuriating. Also, your husband is in severe need of growing a backbone, because what is that? Yelling at you? What a loser! I low-key think you should apologise, and next time you're going over to his mom's, wear a jacket with nothing underneath but underwear. But seriously, OP, get a door chain rather than a new lock, then she can't barge in. They're also easy to install. Context, my ex-husband Kevin, 37, and I, female 35, got separated two years ago. We share custody of our two kids. My father owned a small bookstore in our hometown that I inherited recently. To be honest, the shop doesn't bring a lot of money, but I already have a stable income. Kevin found out and called for an urgent meeting. He came over to my place and said he wanted to talk about the bookshop. I said, what about it? And he told me that now that the shop is officially mine then I should add his name to the title and split whatever profits I get 50-50. I was in shock. I told him he had to be joking, but he reminded me of when his dad passed away and left him inheritance money that he ended up sharing with me. Therefore, I owe him half of my inheritance now. I didn't know what to say, but I mentioned to him that yes, he did share his inheritance with me, but that was while we were married. But now it's a different dynamic and we no longer share anything. He got upset and argued that technically I owe him regardless of whether we're still together or not and urged me to consider because the money will be going towards the children anyway. We had a loud argument and I ended up saying that this would only happen in his dreams and telling him to wake up, then told him to leave. He tried to lash back but I insisted that he leave. 
He had his mother call me saying that I lied, deceived and stole from her son in the past and I owe him. Not just that, but she said that I should be rid of my pettiness and resentment towards Kevin and do the right thing for once. We fought on the phone and yesterday I was shocked when my son called me a thief out of nowhere. This escalated the fight because Kevin got the kids involved. I think that technically I do owe him because I can't deny that he shared his inheritance with me. But I think that now circumstances are different, like when we used to share our salaries, but now I don't expect him to do the same anymore, obviously. Still, I might be the delusional one, so am I the idiot? Not the idiot. Judging by the desperate way he and his mom act, it sounds like he's having money troubles. And don't worry about him running his mouth. Literally, nobody with half a brain would expect you to do what he's demanding. You don't owe him anything. It wasn't a loan, it was a gift and split between husband and wife. You guys are now divorced, he gets nothing. If there was no talk about paying back that money in a divorce settlement, then joke's on him. I can't believe he got his mom and his children involved. I would know everything down and document everything. If he does take you to court, you'll have something to fight back with. I don't know the laws of your country, but I can't see how he would be entitled to that shop at all. Stand your ground. Do not share your inheritance. He sounds angry and bitter and is looking for a payout. Or tell him you will put half the profits into a trust fund set up by a great lawyer so he can't access it for the kids, as he claims the money would go towards the kids. But do not give that man access to any of that money or profit. You don't owe him anything. The audacity. I, 30 female, got pregnant when I was 18 and met my now husband, 33, two weeks after giving birth. The bio dad signed away his rights within the first year of my son's life and my husband adopted our son. My husband has always treated my son like his bio dad. We haven't told my son yet that he has a different dad than our three daughters. My in-laws know this but have always treated our son the same way. A couple of Christmases ago, my brother-in-law and his wife gave my in-laws two gifts. The first one had an ultrasound and a due date. The second one had baby boy clothes and shoes in it. Everyone freaked out and was so excited. Then my sister-in-law and mother-in-law started yelling over and over again, finally we're gonna have a last name boy to pass on the family name. My heart instantly broke. Luckily, my son was just out of earshot. My face instantly dropped, but I didn't say anything to ruin the new parent's special moment. I didn't end up bringing it up at all to my in-laws. I just started staying home during weekend dinners, and when my mother-in-law gave me an invite to new mom's baby shower, I said I was going to be gone for the night. Deep down, it absolutely crushed me because I felt like the true feelings had come out. It made me feel like they never actually viewed my son as part of the family. My son shares the same last name as the new baby, but my son doesn't count to carry on the family name. It was a Freudian slip if ever I've heard one. Fast forward to about 10 months later. I'd been excusing myself from all possible family gatherings. Finally, my husband decided one day that it had been long enough and they needed to know what they did and how it looked and felt. So, he went over by himself and at first it was just his mom and dad. He told them how it all played out and what was said over and over again. My mother-in-law instantly got defensive and my father-in-law immediately defended her. You have no idea how hard this has been on your mother for the past few months. This has been eating away at her and stressing her out so much. Not one mention about my son, if he heard or not, how this possibly made him feel or how it made me feel and no one ever reached out to try and make it right. They then called my sister-in-law over because she had said it too and they wanted to include her in the extremely one-sided conversation. We didn't mean it like that. We meant another boy to pass on the name. No, absolutely not. You two yelled it over and over again. My husband doesn't have a biological son, only an adopted one. There was no apology. There were excuses and a lot of defensive talk. Apparently, some of it was my fault. Am I the idiot? Everyone's the idiot here. Your son is a young teen and doesn't know his father isn't his bio father. You've made it harder for him when he does find out. Don't resent the baby. They didn't do anything. Your in-laws suck for being so excited about having a boy, but you admit that they don't treat him differently from the girls. Talk it out and let it go. You've been avoiding them for almost a year due to this. You wait until the baby is a couple of months to hash this out with sister-in-law, who's a new mom. That is so wrong. Not the idiot. 
This should never have been a family secret to begin with. Your son is someday going to find out he has a different biological father and will probably resent the lie. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. His dad is his dad, regardless of biology, especially since his dad treats him the same as his actual biological children. And grandma and grandpa suck for obvious reasons. Yeesh, but I don't think you're an idiot for being hurt by what they said. They definitely were in the wrong. You are the idiot. You're making this a way bigger deal than it is. You said yourself that they've always treated your son the same way as your daughter's. You are damaging your, your son's, your husband's and your daughter's relationship with their family over a thoughtless statement said in a time of great excitement. You come off as really immature and self-centered here. Why not quietly tell your in-laws how you felt instead of throwing a giant fin alienating your kid's family? You sound like a teenager. When we dated, my husband did such thoughtful things. Help with building things, hanging items and oil changes. Two years of marriage, he slacked off and still does things for others and leaves half-finished projects around the house. He jumps when his mum wants him or his friend wants him to work on a car. He hasn't helped with my car in almost a year and never with household chores. I work about 20 more hours a week than him, so my time is short. We recently hired a house cleaner to do the light cleaning and some laundry. She comes every other week. Yesterday, he was supposed to help in the bedroom and finish this project he's been working on for six months. Instead, his friend called him to help build a bookshelf for beer, and he left. He got home late, and I asked him why he doesn't help me out anymore, and he's like, well, it's different because it's selfish of me to expect to have all of his free time. I called off work today, and I told my husband I wanted a divorce, and I'm no longer a priority in his life. I would do better on my own without carrying him anymore, and I wouldn't have to pick up the slack of having a larger home and yard care. I honestly look forward to getting a small studio, and just dealing with my laundry and dinner. Everyone has been blowing up my phone, saying I'm either so selfish or I don't deserve him. He's such a wonderful man and would do anything for anyone. But not me. My husband said it's so mean of me just to divorce him over this, but I want to put my career first, and I don't have the energy to fake playing house with someone who's not interested. Not the idiot. He says it's selfish of you to want his free time, but every other random is fine. He prioritizes everyone else over you. Honestly, don't listen to people who are shaming you for wanting to leave over something small. This is not small. This will not end. This will not get better. I'm proud of you for getting out sooner rather than later. Forget that guy. Not the idiot. Live your life how you want to. You only get one. If my wife was the primary earner working way more hours than I do, you could bet I'll be in that kitchen every day making dinner keeping the house as clean as I can and generally enabling her to continue to earn. Leaving half-done projects to go do the exact same kind of things for other people is the strongest way to say they matter more than you. OP, as far as the divorce, only you can decide whether you want to allow him to improve if you think he's capable. This really isn't about chores, it's about him putting everyone first when he's supposed to be your partner and put you first. If you don't think he can change, Get out now before adding kids to the mix. I'm a 31-year-old woman. My best friend is the same age. I'm currently dating my boyfriend, a 32-year-old man, and my best friend's ex-boyfriend. They dated back in high school for two years before she broke up with him. He and I connected through some mutual friends last year and became friends, and then dated casually for four months before deciding to make things official and date exclusively. When we were casually dating, I didn't bring it up to anyone as it was not something to talk about, just the odd drink, movie, meal, that sort of thing. I began to tell my family and then my friends, the first of which was my best friend and she was very upset with me for two reasons. Firstly, that I didn't tell her right away and secondly, that I was dating her ex-boyfriend and she told me that he should be off limits to me and it was messed up that I would date him. I admit this took me by surprise. They broke up when we were all teenagers it's been 14 years, she's even married with kids now, and she broke up with him, so I doubt there's some teenage hang-up there. The three of us are all from a small town. If we crossed off ex-boyfriends, that would drastically cut our available dating pool. I told her the moment things got serious, so it wasn't like I was trying to hide it from her, but I don't tend to talk about when I date casually, as all parties involve understand we can see other people during that time as we're not exclusive. Am I the idiot for dating him and also for not telling her even when things were casual? 
It honestly didn't occur to me as it's been so long since she broke up with him. Not the idiot. High school relationships don't count. If it was her last boyfriend, sure, but not someone from high school. He's not even her one that got away. She broke up with him. That rule about not dating friends' exes does exist, but there's a statute of limitations. Fifteen years is way beyond it. Not the idiot. Your friend has no say in who or how you date. Has no right to limit what guys or girls you can date. She's reasoning like she was still 14 and in high school. She's married, has kids and has a new life. If it affects her that much, something is off. She might still have feelings for him. If she can deny those things, then she should butt out right away, apologise and maybe congratulate you for your happiness. You are the idiot, but I think not in the way other people say. I believe you're both free to date and have a relationship with whoever you want. You do not own a person. But true friendship includes being honest to each other also about difficult things. So it would help if you had talked about it with your friend way before the moment there was something going on, beforehand. Because those things can really hurt. Now you've hurt her feelings and she has every right to be mad at you. So why do you even ask? Go to her now and apologize.